I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. Back on September 1st, Brian Peters bought a New York Lottery Poker scratch-off ticket at the Sitco Convenience Store on Jefferson Street in Monticello. Today, the 32-year-old Monticello man was back in the store accepting an oversized check to showcase his winning the top prize of a million dollars. Peter said he almost uh, forgot to buy the ticket when he stopped in to uh, pick up his breakfast on his way to his job as a food inspector. And Peters proved an excellent prognosticator, having told a store employee that mo morning that he was going to hit it big. He's telling me, the clerk who sold it to you, that you showed it to him and said, this is a winner, I'll be back. Yeah, I told him, uh, I got the big winner here, I'll be back to let you know. <laughs> and <laughs> sure enough. <laughs> I mean, what's the feeling? I can't imagine. I'm calm, but it feels very good. It really does, you know. But I'm a very laid back person, so. <laughs> what are you going to do with the money first thing? Uh, honestly, I really haven't thought about it. It's still trying to let it set in. I'm sure I'll come up with something, though. <laughs> I'm definitely sure. Peter scratched off the winning numbers during a work break and then returned to his job. That evening he had family members recheck the numbers just to make sure. He's opted for a one-time lump sum payment that will leave him with $536,000 after taxes. He is the 119th New Yorker to claim a state lottery prize of a million or more so far this year. It's been nearly a month since suspected cop killer Eric Frayne ambushed two Pennsylvania state troopers in a sniper attack outside the Blooming Grove State Police barracks, killing one and wounding another. And while the manhunt continues, the wives of state troopers have reportedly raised nearly $180,000 for the families of the victims. The sale of t-shirts with the phrase PSP Strong, along with an online donation campaign, has been used to collect money for the families of Corporal Brian Dixon, who was killed, and Trooper Alex Douglas, who was wounded. State police officials had scheduled a news briefing for late in the day Wednesday to update the ongoing search effort. An ad placed in the Times Herald record this week by developer Shalom Lamb has announced that uh, phase one of the controversial Chestnut Ridge housing development in Bloomingburg is nearing completion and that the 48 townhouses are available for sale for $299,000. Construction of the remaining homes in the 396-unit apparently Hasidic development has been held up by a building moratorium that's been uh, put in place in the village. In reaction, Lamb filed a $25 million lawsuit against officials in Bloomingburg and the town of Mamakating charging anti-Semitism. Officials deny the charges. In Ulster County, County Executive Michael Hine today signed a local law that requires all businesses in the county that sell gasoline to post their top price for regular on their street signs. The law was recently passed by the county legislature and was uh, drafted following complaints that some stations were displaying only their cash price, with customers then finding a higher credit card price once they pulled up to the pump. A Newburgh man has been arrested on charges of criminal contempt and criminal mischief after a domestic incident involving his ex-girlfriend in the town of Platykill. State police say 24-year-old John Lisi ignored an order of protection and reportedly threw two glass bottles from a vehicle at his ex-girlfriend, hitting her and her vehicle. She suffered a minor injury and her car was damaged. Lisi was arrested Tuesday and sent to uh, Ulster County Jail on $10,000 bail. A Lock Sheldrake woman's in trouble with the law after police say she stole personal checks from a residence in the town of Wallkill, then forged the signatures of, of the account holder and cashed them at a bank in Liberty. A state police investigation led to the arrest of 23-year-old Katie McKnight on a charge of forgery. Police say McKnight forged five checks and received $330 after cashing them. And visitors to the Newburgh waterfront will uh, be able to do a little time traveling beginning Sunday. The El Galeon Spanish Tall Ship will be docked there for a week-long stay, part of its tour of the East Coast. The El Galeon is a replica of the late 16th century fabled merchant vessels and warships that made up the early navies of Europe and is the only Galeon class vessel sailing the world today. It carries an all Spanish crew and tours will be offered during its stay at the Newburgh waterfront from uh, Sunday the 12th through Saturday October 18th. The El Galeon ship represented Spain during the recent celebration of the 200th anniversary of the Star Spangled Banner held in Baltimore. 
We're expecting another nice day here in the Catskills and Hudson Valley, but uh, the same cannot be said for Friday. As for tomorrow, it'll be mostly sunny and pleasant with temperatures reaching the upper 60s Thursday. Friday will be mostly cloudy with periods of rain likely. The highs Friday will get up around 65 degrees. You'll get the news and features to help start your day each morning in the Times Herald Record. And breaking news is always just a click away right here at Record Online. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.